Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 12th of February, we've got eight cracking races at Newbury and Warwick on ITV on Saturday. The ground, well, good to soft, generally speaking, at the moment. There is plenty of rain forecast, though, on Saturday, and I could see things easing. It'll certainly be much appreciated. Some of the field sizes are particularly small um, as a result of the drying ground for the last three or four weeks really and we definitely need some rain as Cheltenham looms on the horizon we start off with our value angle selection in the 150 at Newbury this is the daily rewards for Betfair handicap hurdle over three miles and this looks absolutely tailor-made for Polish and Fergal O'Brien Paddy Brennan combination who've had such a prolific time of things over the last few months now this one's a quirky hold-up handicapper a course and distance win in the past a smooth traveller he needed his first couple of runs. I think this winter he's eased down the weights and he showed a lot more last time. They should go a decent pace with a couple of front runners in the lineup. And if he puts his head down and Paddy Brennan gets it right, I think he'll lead after the last and do these for a bit of pace. For our nap of the day, we go to the three o'clock, the game spirit chase, a grade two over two miles and half a furlong. Well, I think this is a gilt edged opportunity for Sco Royale to win this race again. Alan King's prolific and versatile performer had excuses last time under a negative ride on soft ground at Cheltenham over hurdles a return to fences decentish ground he's got a very good makeup here editor de Gite, sure to go off really hard which will help Sco Royale settle in the early stages and he glides around Newbury he's a really tough and reliable sort Hitman could be the danger but Paul Nichols continues pretty much in the wilderness at the time of recording I think he's about one winner from 50 and loads of them run badly he had a few days off at the start of the week they've all got loads to prove the other six races on ITV in time order 115 at Newbury a competitive novices limited handicap chase well Fernhill might just be the value here with the doubts about brave man's game given his stable Ben Case's bold front runner an absolute scream when second to grumpy Charlie at this track in December harried on the lead rallying gamely when picked off and he's sure to give his running with conditions to suit the long odds on brave man's game that probably isn't the case but Warwick for the 135 mayor's hurdle listed contest um well, I think Dan Skelton's get a tonic is an interesting runner here. Uh, Indefatigable's like to be a short price favourite, but she's always had a quirk or two. Might lack a bit of pace. Warwick's a sharp left-handed track, and get a tonic, who's got plenty to find on the ratings, £20 or so, has got a turn of foot, and she's been progressing nicely at a lower level. I think she might be the value. The 205 at Warwick, their kingmaker novice chase, a grade two, a straight match here. I prefer Edwardstone over third time lucky. Um, he's a strong traveller with a smart turn of foot. If it rains, it'll definitely help him. Might just blunt the finishing pace a third time lucky he's a real improver Edward Stone I loved his win at Sandown he's a thoroughly genuine sort who jumps superbly he's got winning form at Warwick I think he'll take plenty of stopping in a complete match 225 at Newbury the Denman chase a grade 2 over nearly 3 miles well I thought Elder Rado Allen lost no case at all in defeat by Mr Fisher at Kempton in January he'll relish this more galloping track I'm hoping he'll front run again a Paul Nichols favourite Clander Zobo with plenty to prove uh, given the stable form at the moment. Back to Warwick for the 3.15, the handicap chase over two mile four. Well, Cheddleton, Jeannie Candish's northern radius shaped really well in defeat twice this season, should go really well again with conditions to suit. Back to Newbury, the Betfair hurdle, a big betting race of the day, one of the most valuable handicaps in the whole calendar, 14 runners. Well, JPR1, I thought he could have a stone more, to be honest. He's a very useful novice. He's been ridden to do just enough when winning last time out, which has helped his handicap mark. He'll love a strongly run race if inexperience doesn't hold him back i think he'll take an awful lot of beating in this really valuable handicap best of luck with all eight itv races on saturday betting experts